Hello everyone, my name is Captain, and welcome back to the channel another 7 Days That I video. We are doing another POI versus Blood Moon Horde, and we are at the fire station. This one was requested by a viewer. Of course, if you have other POIs you want to suggest, leave those in the comments, and I'll add those to the list as well. But yeah, we're in the fire station. We're down here in the desert town. Uh, let's see, we got Deshong Towers right over there, the Higashi Towers here. We've done a couple POIs here. Uh, yeah, the... Uh, Shotgun Messiah working to, uh, stiff is right there, and the fire station's here. I've never been inside this particular POI. So this one's not nearly as big as a couple of the ones we've done, so it may not take us as long to clear it out. We're going to try our best to clear it out, and then I'm going to try my absolute best to not die during tonight's Blood Moon Horde. We're on day 41. We've killed a lot of zombies. Let's see how many we've actually killed here, just for stats-wise, so people know. We are up to 675 on kills. And what level am I? I can't remember now. Level 73. So we have a pretty good size horde coming our way. I can already predict it. I'm not quite sure how to get in this place. Uh, I don't think I, I might be able to make that jump. Whoop, let's try. Huh? Nope, can't quite make that jump. But it sounds like a zombie's already coming out here to join me. So we could make this an entrance after all. We'll just wait for them to get in here. Let me Let me help you out. I know this isn't the right tool for it, but we're gonna leave it. We're gonna let them get out on their own. So it looks like we got uh, GI Joe over here. Oh, she swerved. Make sure we got we got a couple. All right, we got a couple coming out here to deal with. Y'all want some too? Bad doggy, bad dog. Oh, I'm glad I got my melee skill up as high as it is here. All right, come on out, man. You're really annoying here. I'm trying to clear out a POI. All right, so we've busted a lot of heads. We got a dog over here. It always freaks me out when the dog dies, but they don't actually fall down and die because, you know... Well, they're still friggin' standing there looking at me. So we, outside this area, there's a decent number of zombies. I mean, this is a pretty busy area to begin with. Or, what are you, stuck inside and you're trying to figure out... Hey, stupid, I'm right here. Yeah, having your melee skill all the way up is definitely very, very nice. I would highly recommend that if given the opportunity to, because then you can just beat the snot right out of their heads and make little glorious blood fountains everywhere. Sylvia's here. What's up, girl? Pink. I've got a couple more waking up over here. Blood everywhere. All right, so the bottom floor looks like it's pretty cleared as far as zombies go. We'll take a look at what's going on here. I've never been inside this POI, like I said, so trying to figure out what is where uh, could be interesting for sure. we got a gun safe here that's locked. Climb up this. Can't really get over there that easily. Uh, let's see anything we got some uh, some uh, chests and stuff up here that'd be nice to have these up here and break apart this ladder and I could actually get up maybe extend this all the way around make a catwalk go around here and I can run around in circles and this would be the main room that we can take out all the zombies that could be cool all right we got uh, nothing there let's check out the bathroom anybody in here I mean I hate to ruin your good time if you're in the bathroom but I need you out of my place now the ladder over there we'll make sure we break down it looks like it's over here. We got the big garage doors where this they would actually park the trucks right here if this was a real garage, of course. Fire pole. Sweet. That's probably the sleeping quarters up there. We'll go check it out in a minute. Uh, yeah, this room is okay. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll glance around. If I see any secrets, we'll hit those up. But I'm not going to loot everything because that's not the purpose of the video. We want to see what kind of cool stuff we can find, not how much random junk we can loot. We got plenty of random junk. All right, window over here. That's good. At least it's a little bit reinforced. I think that's bulletproof glass, if I'm not mistaken. Wait, let's come back here and make sure there's nothing back here. Nope, not a thing. All right, so it doesn't look like there's a lot downstairs at all, which would make it a little bit easier to clear out. Empty backpack. All right, let's head upstairs. Probably going to find the sleeping quarters, maybe the gym, the workout facility. Fireman pole here. This would be a good little place we could uh, start up here. We'll have our catwalk go around this way, bust down these stairs. Got a TV we can chill out with, vending machines, washer and dryer. Is there anything up here? Kind of curious just to... Okay. Yeah, let's just fall down then. That, that works too. I was trying to see if there's anything up on top of this thing. We could do it the easy way here. 
All right, so that is just a, a ledge. This could be a nice little fail safe if everything goes to crap. We can't get out really easily with bulletproof glass, but it's nice that we could get up here real fast. We had to, we could do like a quick little ladder system if everything gets completely overrun. But if I bust down these stairs right here, they won't have a way to get up to me because they can't climb up this pole. So, so I think this is. This might actually work out pretty good. I may bust down this rail here, clear out some of this junk that's around here. It's cool that they got this little storage system up set, uh, set up here like this. I don't think there's anything else in here. If I'm missing something in this POI, I don't see what it is. I'll do one more kind of run through just to make sure I'm not missing anything obvious. But it looks like that's pretty much it. So this one will be a much smaller, uh, far easier to clear out general area. We'll replace the door here. I'm assuming they're going to... Oh, bad doggy. Scared me. Made me jump. So apparently dogs are roaming around free here. All right then. Well, let's get this place uh, reinforced real quick, and we will get ready for the horde to show up. So we'll be back in just a minute. All right then. Real quick and easy. Here's what we did: was we went ahead and re-extended this, just the corrugated metal plates. I just used what I could to replace these all the way around, and then added the metal uh, fencing all the way around so I could run back and forth all throughout here. Cleared out the area so I can shoot down. You know make it a little bit easier and then of course I can get back over here we busted down these stairs but what I did do is I took you guys advice and I said last time you know I accidentally fell down didn't have a way to get up quickly but this way I can jump up grab the ladder and hop back up here should I accidentally fall or they cause this place to collapse um, didn't have to do much reinforcements over here put in a bunch of spikes replace the door and upgraded it and put spikes in around there this is kind of just to slow them down um, a few spikes in here like I said upgraded the walls around the doors upgraded the, uh, the bottom of the garage doors over there put some torches in so you guys can see what's going on and uh, yeah I think that's pretty much it I knocked down all the stuff that I needed to to be able to uh, keep them from getting up to me if everything goes to pot and this thing starts collapsing I left this vending machine here so we can hop up hop on this frame and jump up to this little walkway up here and see how well that'll hold up against everything else so we just got to get the horde in here now and we'll see how well it works out all right, it is go time. Uh, changed up a little bit of our weapons, if you notice down here. We have our bow still. It was switched to an AK, so just a regular SMG. Got our shotgun. Restocked our Molotov supply. And I think in my inventory, yeah, got a few pipe bombs here, just in case everything goes absolutely terrible. Hey, look, our very first zombie is a freaking radiant zombie. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't uh, get this party started. We got a nice little conga line. Oh, shoot. Cops already here. Getting some frame... Okay, yeah, we gotta we gotta get rid of the cops as fast as possible because they'll start shooting and knocking down my railing stuff here and it makes it harder for you guys to see. The rest of the zombies Nope, don't do it, sir. The rest of uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. The rest of the zombies, you know, we can see what they do. We wanna see how well this POI is gonna hold up against a horde and but in the meantime I don't want to uh I don't want to have the whole place collapse just because a cop showed up and ruined the party before we even got started. Let's see, we got raided zombie over there. They're trying to beat their way into the office. So, yeah, there. you know, what's, uh, it's always interesting when I do these videos is it's real hard to uh, find a center balance for what everybody wants to see in these videos. And there's no way, I'm just not even trying. I'm just kind of doing what's fun to me. But some people want to see me just let the uh, whore just beat on the POI and see how it works out. Some people want to see me actually trying to kill the zombies and, you know, and working them over and seeing if I can actually survive. So I kind of do a little bit of a mix of it. You know, throw some Molotovs in there, kind of keep the party lit. <laughs> you know, get it? Because it's Molotov. Some uh, laggy stuff going on right now. It's not showing the little charge bar for the uh, Molotov. And with all these zombies in here, uh, yeah, they are definitely doing some damage. Is something show up over there? No. Anything over here on this side? No, nothing over here. So we're kind of, I kind of want to kill some of them, you know, throw some Molotovs in there because we're going to have a big horde for sure. Um, but on the other side, I kind of want to see how well they will handle this POI. See, they already knocked out one of the two of the support columns and the third one's here. Um, it's got some decent reinforcements all the way across the little I-beams and stuff. Oh, we got another cop. Haha, -ha, you missed. Where'd you go? There you are. It's got some decent little I-beam support there, so I'm not really worried about the roof caving in as much as anything else, but I wish they would stop knocking down my torches. It makes it too dark in here. All right, let's go down to this side and see what they're doing over here. So we are less than an hour in. They've definitely done some damage to the structure of this place already. Let's see, get a nice well, Malta right up in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that grouping. Oh, this gets in right over there, too. So far, so good on setting ourselves on fire. That is fantastic. I'm glad we haven't done that yet. Getting them to run back and forth is always fun, too, because it's just, you know, well, 
come over here and beat on some stuff. Rated zombie in the bathroom. Oh, we got a white over there. We're just gonna, gotta, I'm just kind of plinking him along right now. That way, and give the zombies a time. Oh, got another cop. Uh, time to see how well they can do against this POI. Oh, dude, somebody just blew up something outside. Maybe they hit a car, but I thought I saw a zombie go flying off into the distance. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, so do we have a cop over here now? Oh, check that out. So they've taken out a big chunk of that wall over there. Ow! Ow, cop spit on me. Where'd you go? I mean, where are you, son? There you are. No. Uh -oh. Hey. Nope, nope, nope. All right. Let's bring y'all over here. Yeah, they, they tore down all my torches. I was Let's see if I... Do I have any torches? I do have some torches. All right. Since we're doing okay bandage-wise here, let's throw up a couple torches. I want to make sure you guys can see what's going on. These idiots keep knocking down my torches and make it really hard to see. So let me let me get a couple more on here. Hey, y'all leave the lighting alone here. It's hard enough to see when it's dark outside, and then you stupid idiots keep knocking down the little bit of light I did already have up here. So, can y'all leave things alone, please? Here, I'll put another torch up there. Double up some light. There we go. That's a little better. But, you know, some of our best lighting comes in the form of a bottle. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Well, so far, so good. They've taken out all the supports in the middle. The columns are gone. They're not even working those anymore. So, you know, whether or not that'll hold the ceiling up, if anybody's curious, yeah, it's not. they're not doing anything to that. See if we can get that in there. All right, got some. Well, they're doing a pretty a decent amount of damage to the walls. They're, they've completely avoided trying to go through the doors here that I upgraded. They're trying to just beat in through the walls where I didn't, and so that just makes them funnel into this one little spot there, which is fine because then if they're all still stuck trying to get in right there, then I can just keep throwing torches at them, you know, Molotovs, and they are pretty much stuck. Got another group coming over here. We still haven't made it to midnight yet, but we're doing all right. Anything going on over here? I could try and see if I can lead them over here and see what they'll do. Whoa, careful. Don't get stupid and fall down here. We want to survive this one. If the building collapses, that's one thing, but I don't want to do something stupid and accidentally fall off again here. We got we got a decent crowd for sure. So if we can we can keep these zombies, you know, from break, breaking this entire place apart and killing us that way. Oh, you got hit right in the face. Okay, what's going on over here? So it looks like I, there's a radiant zombie right outside that door. Got the one person who's trying to get in through that door. Oh, dude, somebody hit another car. Spider zombie over there. Go ahead and light up the front door so they can see what's going on. But see, they're they're trying to go through the weakest points here. We got, I think this is concrete on the walls. Uh, let's see, we've got a couple people over here. Let's look, see what's going on. See if we can see underneath here. Yeah, see, they're avoiding the windows. They're avoiding the walls. They're trying to get to the weak point, which in this point is the actual door itself. And so it's really helping a lot when it comes to um, funneling them down in certain areas. we got a couple of whites over here. Go and set his biscuits on fire. We have made it past midnight. I'm pretty sure that's better than we've done the last few of these hordes now. So, since it seems to be kind of not really dying down, but we seem to be kind of uh, just hanging out here. Tell me what. Tell you what. Let's uh, do what we've done before and uh, lock the camera in place and see if we can't fly down here see what they're doing here. See, oh, I thought I saw... Did I see a, oh, I just saw a block collapse here. Okay. I'll turn off the hood so you guys can see what's going on and see what they're working on. Okay, see, so they're working on this wall right here at the moment. That is... Uh, that, that's definitely going to come down pretty quickly. We'll keep this in our hand here just because it makes it a little easier to see what's going on. Yep, uh, there's, uh, I think they have a pretty good chance of doing some damage here if they continue to bring down these walls. You can see how much damage they've done at the outside walls here. So we may start to see some pieces of this starting to collapse. They've moved on from here because I'm over there now. Let's see if there's anything outside going on. See, there's, that's a decent little... That's a decent gathering right there. Good lord. And then over here they've done some things. And that's pretty much it. They're kind of working in the same spot. Let's head back upstairs. Okay, so they're all underneath me. They're going to work on this wall here. Oh, uh oh, seeing a, they're seeing a little bit of collapse. Parts of the roof's coming down as they're tearing this place apart. Oh, oh I don't, hope something doesn't you know fall and land on top of me. Let's come back over here real quick. See if we can't get a wide view of what's going on. Uh, maybe a good throw. All right, we got a couple of them in there. Nice. Yeah, Molotovs are definitely overpowered, but they're freaking fun to use. And, you know, give me a chance here. This, Molotovs aren't hard to make in the game anyway. So if you're going to be going up against a horde in POI, you could always build some Molotovs. You know, you know, a couple of empty glasses. Oh, good lord. Okay, let's go see what's going on over here. A couple of empty glasses, some rags, some gas. I mean, stuff that's easy to find. Okay, if it's just the roof that's collapsing because they're knocking down some of the supports, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't mind at all. But let's just kind of hang out for a little bit and see what they do. I'm going to turn this back on so we can see what time it is. Turn the HUD back on. 
We don't have any more cops. We're stuck on the scrap here. So we'll just kind of, we'll give them a chance to see if they can t bring this building down or not without, because I can sit here and, you know, kill them all as long as I don't do something stupid. But, you know, whether or not the PLR survives is something entirely different. I'm just kind of hanging out and hiding. So let's go sit over here. Let's go sit right here for just a minute and see what they do. All right, uh, checking in on them here. Uh, they've had a chance to run around and do some more damage. You can see that some of the ceiling in here is starting to collapse a little bit, so they're definitely doing enough work on the outside walls to start causing some problems. They are still working on this piece, so it's starting to cause a few more places to collapse inside around here. Oh, dude, somehow or another, we actually rotated the camera upside down. Check that out. That's kind of weird and trippy at the same time. I hadn't done that before. All right, let's go back to normal. All right, so a little bit more ceiling collapse over here. A little bit of a collapse in there. Turn the hood back on. It's 1.30 in the morning. Uh, we're kind of just going to hang out. We'll move over here and see what we can do. We're just kind of keeping an area lit up. Again, I can keep spamming Molotovs because, you know, I started this off in creative mode, so I had more than enough to start with here. Whatever, but I kind of want to see how well the POI do. We'll throw another one over there just kind of spice things up a little bit. Um, you know, give a fair chance or whatever. A few more things collapsing that direction. So the building's holding up pretty good. I mean, we started off... I'm curious real quick. Let's see, right now there's 43 zombies here, and that's count, not counting all the ones we've already killed. So there was a good size little horror working this out earlier. So for the people who are kind of curious as to how many zombies we've taken out, I don't know how many we've killed, I don't know how many we've started out with, but there's more than 40 still here. So let's come back over here and have a look and see what they do. So I'm thinking that for the most part, we could probably survive this POI without really having to fight too many of the zombies as long as we kept moving. You know, occasionally throw down a Molotov, and that's pretty much it. I mean, they kind of... Oh, there, there goes one... Uh oh Here comes a big chunk of the roof. They knocked down some more of the supports here. Okay, so so far what I'm standing on is still here. But uh, we'll see how long that lasts. I'm pretty sure this is concrete walls. So they definitely have to do some work to bring that down. But they are, they're definitely trying, for sure. I mean, you can see how much damage they've done to this place. But we'll just kind of hang out here and see what happens till morning and see if they can bring this place down or not. Uh oh, they have started the big collapse here. Huge chunks of the wall. Look at that. They are they are bringing the house down, literally. There's still a huge chunk of zombies here, so I'm kind of just trying to outpace them while we see how well this place stands up here. But, as you can see, there's a lot of them, and they're doing a lot of damage to this place here. I want to see if the whole thing is going to come down. It kind of looks like it. That's really cool. I wonder if it'll kill any of the zombies. Because I did test out before that you can implode a house on the zombies and do a lot of damage to them if you hit them. Let's see, I mean, we, we still got a decent chunk of them over there, so... Oh, hey, of course the stupid birds showed up. The stupid birds always show up. Stupid birds. Yeah, you better run. Oh, crap, we got a radiated zombie who's on fire chasing us. Okay, let's go back inside here. So, for people wanting to know how well this POI will stand up against a horde... It lasted till about morning against a, you know, a really good size horde. And that was with me doing some upgrades too. I did upgrade the walls, I upgraded the doors, you know, I put a catwalk around there for me to be able to get in and out of to shoot stuff at the zombies. And uh, yeah, it definitely held up for a little bit, but not an incredibly long time. It didn't even make it till morning. There were still more than 40 zombies. Now, if I'd spent an incredible amount of ammo and everything else trying to wipe out the zombies, I'm sure it would have survived. But the point of this test is for fun to start with and just to see how well it would work, you know, if you just kind of let the zombies run and do their thing here. If they, you know, if you didn't actively try and kill all of them. Ow! We got a cop here. Oh, no, that was the vulture spinning at me. Big mama. We got lots of radiated zombies. Of course we clicked. Uh-oh. Time to go. And there we have it. All right then, well, we made it till morning because we died, and uh, we fast forwarded till morning. Let's go see how much of this place is left standing. We got the corner of the, you know, the front door over here, I guess maybe the back door here. This place has pretty much all collapsed. You can, we'll get inside and see here. Actually, and let's make it a little easier here. We'll, we'll fly out here so you can see how well it is. So there's a tiny little bit of flooring left right over here because they weren't really hitting anything over there, but there wasn't much to hold that left up. All of the ceiling collapsed. This entire side over here is just absolute chaos. So is this a good POI to hang out in? Um, maybe if you don't have a ton of stuff going on. Uh, as far as like number of zombies, I don't know how many I had total. 
But I think if you had a normal size horde, a little bit of uh, time to reinforce, maybe throw down some, you know, spike traps and, you know, kind of hang out in a corner, it might have survived. But for the size of the horde I had here, no, I would not recommend hiding this place at all. So, uh, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I always have fun doing these kind of videos. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. Still in our race to 100k against our good buddy Glock. So we want to make sure we get there before he does. So spread the word. Thank you guys so much for all your time. You have a wonderful day. And I'll talk to you later.